And new at 5.30, popular antibacterial soaps and body washes are now facing intense scrutiny by the FDA. Makers of these widely used products now have a year to prove that their products are safe. Al Waters is working this story tonight. Al? Jackie, the FDA is focusing on the active ingredient in many of the antibacterial products called triclosan. Government researchers found the soaps and body washes toted as antibacterial or antiseptic work no better at killing germs than simple soap and water. Well, are they actually better than soap and water? And they're finding that that's not true. Diana Monaco is the local spokesperson for the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Diana tells us that FDA's research shows the so-called antibacterial hand soaps and body washes are no better than soap and water and can be risky. And in addition to not being as, as uh, better than soap and water, they're actually starting to see some effects, hormonal effects in animals, starting to see the disruption of the environmental flora. Sales of antibacterial products have grown as health officials emphasize clean hands and good hygiene as a means of warding off disease. While well, alcohol is the active ingredient in many antibacterial wipes and other products, triclosan has become the chemical of choice for hand wash, body wash, dishwashing detergent, and toothpaste, where Monaco says it's actually effective. With the toothpaste, um, we actually see it. Again, it's a drug, and we actually see that it actually helps with gingivitis and with plaque. And so it's actually a positive thing in the toothpaste. Monaco told us the findings reinforce parental advice that's been passed down over the ages about washing your hands before you eat. But the FDA is not ready to declare triclosan hazardous to your health. Still, it is not unsafe to use all these antibacterials, but it's still a recommendation that plain soap and water is better. Now, it's worth noting that the European Union banned triclosan from all products that come in contact with food back in 2010. The FDA is pro proposing new rules for triclosan, which does not include institutional use, such as hospitals, and the public has 180 days to comment.